Hi guys, welcome to another lecture and today we'll discuss something about tuberculosis preventive therapy or TB preventive therapy. And before I begin, I would like to request you to download my app, which is now live on Google Play Store and uh, the Apple Store also. And if you choose to install it via Apple Store, initially the app will be named as My Institute, but once you write the uh, organization code, which is SK. GDE, which I have mentioned in the description below, then the app will be live for you. So please install the app and follow me on Instagram. I post images, image based question every day. And uh, I also uh, share the answer so that you can revise. So TPT is tuberculin, uh, tuberculosis preventive therapy, TB preventive therapy. Now, what is TBT is that imagine we have an index patient. Okay, we have an index patient. We have a patient X who is an open case of pulmonary cox. And he has been diagnosed as pulmonary TB. And, uh, uh, you know, we have started the therapy in him. But then what about the patients he has already infected? What about his household contacts which have been uh, exposed to the open case of TB? So they might, uh, you know, present with uh, full-blown symptoms of tuberculosis at any time. That is why government has come out with TB preventive therapy in which uh, the household contacts or the people whom I will mention below, those are to be started. Those are first to undergo the uh, routine investigation, the TB profile. As in pediatrics, it is Montuk's test, C, uh, chest x-ray and CBNET. So once those household children contacts of open case of TB, they are, uh, you know, they undergo the test. If they come out to be positive, then they are started under the uh, category regimens that was initially there and drug sensitive and drug resistant regimen. But if they come out to be negative, then they are given this preventive therapy. So they do not develop tuberculosis. So who are the people whom TB preventive therapy is to be given? So, first one is people living with HIV. People living with HIV. These are the first patients and uh, both uh, adults and children, PLHIW, both adults and children. Then Household contacts. House hold contacts of the pulmonary TB patients. So that is very, very important. Then third one are people on immunosuppressive. Therapy or on dialysis, or they have silicosis. Now, essentially, what this implies is that if any patient comes out to be HIV positive, open case of HIV positive, the entire family, the entire people living under the same roof, all the people living under the same roof should undergo TB profile. They all, all contacts of HIV, they should undergo TB profile. You have to do profiling. Initially, the government said, initially, when the first uh, it came out, it was only limited up to children. This was only limited up to children up to five years. But later on, it was, uh, you know, expanded to each and every household, household contact irrespective of age. So if you have a patient with an open case of pulmonary cox, the entire family should be screened for TB. And once they are negative for active tuberculosis, then they should be started with PPT. So this is very, very important that initially it was that you have to give only HIV positive patient in less than five years. But later on, it was said, later on the newer guidelines say that all contacts, all contacts of the patients, uh, a patient who is open cox should be given TPT. Now, what is this TPT? Which drugs do we give? So, what is the treatment regimen? 
So the, the best and the most latest regimen right now is three month, three month isoniazid plus rifapentin. Weekly, okay, not daily. It is weekly for people more than two years of age. So this is the therapy of choice currently given by government of India. And uh, again, in many areas, rifapentin is not available. So if rifapentin is not available, then we prefer the second regimen that is six month daily isoniazide. Isoniazide daily. So that is important. And if this is also, uh, this can be altered or this can be, uh, you know, be uh, modified as three month isoniazide plus rifampicin, rifampicin daily. So either of these two can be given in those places where we do not have availability of rifapentin, we can give only isoniazide. While where there is rifapentin availability, this first one is the regimen of choice and that is the regimen that we prefer. Now, in case if we have a patient who is rifampicin, rifampicin, if the patient is rifampicin resistant and MDR patient, okay. So, uh, the patient is MDR patient, multi-drug, the, the uh, patient, uh, the patient who, uh, who has come positive in the house, the patient who was open pulmonary cox was a MDR patient. Then what do we give is, uh, the we give the contacts of this patient six month daily levoflux. So, this is the. Uh, treatment for contacts of MDR patient, it is six months of, you know, uh, levoflux. While when you have a patient of iso isoniazide resistance only and not rifampicin resistance, then you have to give four months of rifampicin daily. Both of this is daily. Okay. So these are the management protocols that you have to follow for the tuberculosis prevention and TPT, tuberculosis preventive therapy. And this is the latest 2022 guidelines given by uh, NTP. And uh, I hope that you will remember this. And this tuberculosis preventive therapy is ideally given to each and every household contact of a TB positive patient after they are uh, screened for active TB and they are negative for active TB. All this therapy is given in patients who are contacts, but they are negative with TB. If they are positive, then they are to be started on the, uh, the drug therapy according to the weight band and uh, the age band of the patients. So I hope you remember this. And that's all for today, guys. I hope to see you in the next video.